Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going, bud? You know, I'm living the dream, baby. I look great. I smell great. I feel even better. And you're wearing your stolen valor. Appreciate uh, no, you coming on. stop that. See, this is I not... I appreciate it. This is not stolen... First of all, I'd rather wear this than get into Formula One racing two days ago and somehow get a fucking McLaren sweatshirt. Okay, you know that's not true. Uh, pretty sure it's true there, Ben. I can't do anything without you just nagging me. You need to understand You're something. like a wife that I hate. You're like, I hate, <laughs> like I, I, wanna, I hate my wife and kids. That's what you are to me. Well, you know, I'm giving you a trial run. Eventually, when you do have a wife and kids, you'll just learn. No, you'll know how to hate them because you've grown up hating me. Oh, I've I've gotten. I know how to do it. Buddy. You know what I hate. Me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you have to understand. You're in the upper echelon of oh. New York elite. Oh my! Definitely God. YouTube socialites. So socialites. It's a word that I've heard that I think would work for you. No, I was like Paris Hilton was. A for socialite. instance, are you a part of any exclusive clubs? What does that mean? I don't. What does that? That could mean anything. Exclusive clubs. What's an exclusive club? That you can go to, like, like Magnesis or Fire or like any of those, like. No. No. What am I ex exclusive club? Yes, he is. Yeah. Thank you so much, you son of a bitch. We oh, got him. Oh, oh, Soho House. Oh, yeah. Soho, Soho Soho House. Yeah, I forgot about that. So you are. Yeah. Okay. And you have the ability to do this stuff, which I am ecstatic and beyond proud that you get the opportunity to do these things. I bet you are. But I absolutely am. I live vicariously through you. Some people don't need to throw their money at things in order to feel things. They can just look at other people do it and feel good about themselves. Yeah, clearly, Frankie doesn't throw money at anything. <laughs> Damn right, I don't, bitch, because I f spend my money on my family and Frank tea Frank and Megazords. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he throws money at Power Rangers. The Power Rangers franchise lives on because of Frank. Listen, you son of a bitch. I like, uh, I'm almost done with my, my Power Ranger collecting. It's almost finished. I have, I think as of, as of recording, I have four more Megazords that I need, and that's it. I'm pretty sure that... The Ninja Zord, the Mighty Morphin Ninja Zord, well, the Assault Team Thunder Zord, whatever it's called, the original Titanus, the Dragon Zord, and the Turbo Rescue Zord. That's all I got left. Do you think any of those words mean anything to me? Uh, no, like because I, you like weren't even... a Power Ranger kid, but if you were, you'd get it. Uh, um, yeah. One of our friends will randomly send me a clip like of them watching like top 10 Megazords on YouTube. And I'm like, yeah. What the fuck is doing that? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, but. You're not going to leak? Do you want me to leak? What? Well, is there a reason why we shouldn't? You would never think it was this person. Oh my God, I need to know. Pete? No. Damn it. Damn, if it was Pete, that would be good. But no, Pete sends me like, you know, like guys' balls. <laughs> no, because I know you guys went through like a Pokemon Go type of thing. First of all, we did. Yeah. And we went, we went and bought like Nintendo DSs, and bro. just he played one Pokemon, I played the other. We just traded back and forth. Bro, Pete would walk his dog for like two hours, yeah, just to catch Pokemon. Pokemon bro, Go. Pokemon Go in 2016. Do you remember how nuts that shit was? Pokemon Go was fucking fire because all the Asian kids were like, "Yo, yeah, stereotyping for sure." But <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but all these Asian kids would like go to because there were certain spots that were like hot spots or whatever, yeah. and then people would roll up on them and just rob them of their phone. Bro, there was I remember there were like streamer, like popular streamers would be walking and they'd be like, "Oh, in this general area, there's a Dragonite or some shit." Which, by the way, that Dragonite is a great Pokemon. Oh, I love that Pokemon. That's a great Pokemon. Yeah. Who, who involves in a Dragonite show? That's a good question. You don't know. No. And wait, people oh, legitimately shit. would roll up on them. There are videos on YouTube that you can find of people rolling up on them and just like hitting them and just running away with their phone. Yeah. Which is hilarious. But it was like nuts. It was like starting. I remember there were like news reports of fucking Central Park. Mad people were out there. Yeah, bro. Yeah. What do you got to do? You got to catch it. Bro, first time I saw that shit, I was so hyped. I wanted a Zapdos so bad, but all I had was like Geo dudes and like. Yeah, you would catch like the normal like you know. Squir not squirrel. Mid what's, what's that fucking oh rat tat rat tat tat. tat bra, bra, oh. Whatever the fuck that. Yikes! No, oh, chill. Yeah. Josh, get that out of there. Yeah, get the bloods are coming for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it would, whatever. I, how do you say that name? Rat tat rat tat. I always says uh, ratata. Ratata. I think it's ratata. Oh, I don't know. Uh, and then radicate. Right. Who's but, the Dragonite original? So Dratini. Dratini, bro. The little whoop. Yeah. The little poop. Dragonair and then Dragonite. Yeah. It's my I shit, that bro. Shit. Uh, but yeah, bro, that shit was that shit was everywhere. So don't you dare, bro. The, co the collecting industry is a big time industry. I, I I believe it. Well, like Pokemon cards is ridiculous right now. You can't get a like Pokemon cards for a reasonable price. Well, you can thank Logan Paul for that one. Yeah, that shit. Did you see he posted a picture recently of like his Pokemon card collection? It's not good. Bro, oh, it's vast. 
He has like this floor covered in Pokemon cards. Jeez. Like original graded. Like he has like six Charizards, which go for like a million dollars each. Jeez. Yeah, it's not cool, man. Leave some for the rest of us. Oh man, probably Gary V got in his ear. Dude, you need, honestly, you need to listen to what the fuck I am saying. Bro, how old are you? You're eighty. You're fucking young, you idiot. <laughs> Forget about your family and friends. Just start working. It's That's like, really oh, good. That's really good. But I did see a video recently of, of Gary V. He was talking to uh, Gunna, who's a rapper. Okay, didn't I was gonna guess if I was being honest. Yeah, uh, you know, just read the signs. Gunna. Yeah. Uh, so he's a rapper and Gary V's like they're like at a party or something and Gary V's just in his ear being like bro you could do this shit bro like this year and then he started talking about TikTok he's like you gotta put out four videos a year uh, four videos a day on TikTok I'm just like, what That's the fuck lot. are you talking I mean, about I mean I hey man what did, honestly yeah what did Gary V become famous on just just talking shit like that right well, yeah he was like a, a, he was a motivational speaker and like successful businessman from what I no. That is the most like just vanilla answer. Like what what successful businessman doing what? He uh, <laughs> I think that he he like worked in his his father like owned like this wine store or okay, something. Okay, that's yeah, you're making money. Yeah, so he, So he was born into money. I think so, yeah. Okay, you could say it. But he he the thing that he credits himself with or like <laughs> someone <laughs> I saw a video too. He was like fucking 10 years ago, you know where I worked? A liquor store. And it's like it was your father's like wine store. Bro. Yeah, like, relax. It, it wasn't like a fucking liquor store down the block. You yeah, know? yeah, like yeah. come on. Uh, but he, but he was able to like market it, I guess, and like make it like even more successful than it already was. And then he just kind of like did motivational speaking and stuff. And then he just floods the internet with his self. So like he's hard to ignore. So to his credit, I mean, he does flood the internet with a bunch of stuff. Entrepreneur, man, he built himself up. Good for him. Entrepreneur. It's just like you. Yeah. You and Gary Vee, basically the same. Same. Um, a one, little taller than uh, him. Uh, are, is he like short? He's a smaller man. That that talk that makes sense. How tall is Gary V? How, how how tall you think? I'm gonna say five six. That's a good guess, but he's actually, bro. If he's under five four, I'm gonna he. Uh, I think he left his wife. By the way, that just popped up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not funny, but it is. Wait, can, can I get can I get can I get a height? Gary Var, isn't it like Varna Varnachuk. Yeah, but you could just. He's five. He's five seven. Oh, all right, all right. So he's allowed to live in my book. He has a net worth of two hundred million. Uh, that's a uh, close to yours. That's a big. <laughs> that's a big net worth. That is big. crazy. Why? Uh, good for him, man. You know, I saw a picture the other day. Speaking of like seeing people out at parties, I saw one the other day that was like two people like out in fucking Nashville, and it was Kid Rock and Tucker Carlson. I saw that, bro. Talk about a fucking grouping. Can you imagine that night? Oh. What how mad you talk about? Oh, just uh, how mad were they to have seen one person of color? Yeah, I, I just mean, like this country. This, yeah, everything's going to shit. And, and Nashville, my understanding, is a pretty liberal place, isn't it? I mean, it was when I went. Oh, oh I think, mean, I don't know. Think it changed in two years? Three no, I don't years think time? people fuck with Kid Rock. Like he has like a bar there, but I think they they made him like get rid of it or something. Really? Yeah, his bar was like the Honky Tonk or something. No, no, that's an awful name for a bar. I think so. I don't really even know what that means. It's like a very like country term, like Honky Tonk. Yeah, it's I, a type of music. I I also think it was just like they would use it to describe like a traditional Southern. You know, like bop bop bopper. You know, like yeah, uh, honky tonk. I yeah. just think of this. Someone That's doing it. this. Honky well, tonk. I think of the honky tonk man, the wrestler from the the eighties and nineties. Um, I don't. I, you remember him from WWF no. at the time, and he was like, uh, he's the honky tonk man. He's cool. He's cocky. He's bad. It sounds like he was doing like, Elvis Presley. That's him. He was oh. an Elvis like ripoff, and he called himself the honky tonk man, and he would smash people over the head with guitars, just like Jeff Jarrett. Fire. I know Jeff Jarrett. You know Jeff Jarrett. J E double F J A R uh, double R E double T. Ain't he great? That's his. Okay. We're going to move on from that. But I actually was out recently with Kid Rock and Tuckle Carl. No, no, no. They, I didn't get the invite for that one. By the way, real quick, I just want to say this and we can move forward. Kid Rock, he just looks like an old dog that you put sunglasses on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. doesn't look like he's got much time left. He, like, is like, like full on just like lets the world know he blows down a lot of coke. Really? Yeah, like I'm pretty sure in his songs he talks about like you know like booger sugar or whatever he calls it. And yeah, yeah. Guy loves cocaine, hates the gays. Hates the gays. Hates. He's like, oh, you can't cancel me simply because I don't give a fuck. It's like we don't really give a fuck either. Dude. Yeah, we don't. Like, fuck I, you. I don't think that's how that works. One, but two. Yeah. Just, just leave. Just go away. Tucker Carlson, on the other hand, boy, that night out has got to be something for the ages. Because what are they talking about? I don't uh, listen. 
political views aside, I think we can all kind of agree this dude needs to get beat up like every morning. I don't really like. I care about his political views to a degree, but I just care more that he just kind of like spews just nonsense. I I just want to. And I just hate his face. I, oh, one of the worst like, faces, dude. He's just like what? Yeah, he's got a bad face, and he's got a big ass head. He's got big head. Oh, big, big head. head. He's got big head. He needs to get hit. Yeah, I think he needs to just get punched in the mouth. Yeah. So, but I was out, and I, I actually funny that we brought up a wrestler. I, I met a wrestler. I met Bubba Ray Dudley. Devon get the tables. Devon get the tables. Part of the Dudley Boys. If you didn't know, ECW original. Mm. You know, and then made his way over to WWE at the time. I do remember a famous clip of this man. Oh boy, it's a rough one. Don't go look it up. Oh, but he says something like, uh, "We got." <laughs> Bro, I can't believe this was a thing that happened in Bro, the world. He cut a promo on ECW. That was a little much. He's like, we got a woman here who taught her daughter how to suck dick. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> bro, these are fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, went, he went off, which yeah. I'm not, listen, I'm sure he, everyone to a degree. Is it was the 90s. Wild shit. It was the times, guys. It was the times. It was the times. If you weren't telling a woman, a, a middle-aged woman that, she taught her daughter how to how to fillet a man. Then you know, <laughs> where were you weren't living in the nineties. Were you even there? Where were you going? Uh, but I, the reason I brought the story up is because I I said something that I. <laughs> oh yeah, what did you say? Because Frankie's you know Frankie's a, a rest, especially when we were younger, we were all like very we big, loved it, and especially boys. Bubba Ray. Bubba like Ray if it was like someone like fucking you know like. Someone less less big like the Dudley Boys are like one of the greatest tag teams ever. Right. You know if it, if it was so like I know you were hyped, bro. I was super pumped. And where did you see him? I went to a restaurant in Red Bank, New Jersey. Oh my god, you walked out to his table. Excuse me. No, no, no. Oh. Because I now I've I've come across you stalked him out. You waited from outside. No. Oddly enough, <laughs> I've come across other wrestlers in establishments of food, eatery. Just say restaurants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I've come across them back a couple of maybe like 2014. I walked into a Chipotle in Milford, Connecticut, and I was online behind Seth Rollins and Cesaro and Dean Ambrose, or as you know now, John Moxley. Uh, and I was I was like, holy shit! Like, and I didn't want to go up to them because one, they can dog me. Yeah, bro, this dude Cesaro was fucking. That's the ball, dude. Yeah, dude, yeah. yoked. Yeah, yeah. Like I've never seen muscle definition on a man like that. Uh, Whoa, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a man so oiled up and just cut up and just beautiful. <laughs> the way the but sun was hitting off. Of they me. they were sitting down eating their burritos, and I went up to the table and I just said, "Listen, guys, I'm not gonna ask for pictures, not gonna bother you. Just want to say I'm a huge fan. Have a good one." And they were like, "Thank you." And like you know, because like when people are eating. You don't want to fuck with them, you know? Yeah. Especially guys that can get up and put your fucking head in the ground. Yeah, it's like, yo, do a move to me. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, so I was coming out of the... I didn't even see him. I didn't even know he was there. Never in a million years that I think, like, I would have fucking ran into this guy. Right. I was coming out of the bathroom, and he's walking toward me. And I'm like... That's Bubba Ray. That's bu I stop, and, and, like, in a split second, I realized it was Bubba Ray. So... <laughs> I put my hands on my chest. Like that? Like this. Oh my god, dude. And I fell back to the wall. Frankie. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, and I quote, as I live and breathe. <laughs> what and that was it? And he's Isn't he's, there supposed to be more to that? Or you just that's all you said? I went, Wait, did you say that to him? You said it at this man. You said, as I live and breathe. And, and what the fuck did he say? What? He stopped and he knew that I recognized him. But the guy was walking toward the bathroom. He probably had a fucking piss. You went like this? So uh, he goes, he comes up to me. He's like, hey, what's up, man? And he initiated. And I was like, this is really nice. Well, you said, as I live and breathe. <laughs> and you also were doing this. He thought I was having a heart attack or some shit. <laughs> this is what my grandma did when, at like my graduation in pre-K. Yeah, as I live and breathe. And uh, she... What does that even mean? I've never even heard this before. Just like, as I'm here on this earth right now, I've come across thee. You know? And that's what I said. You're speaking medieval now. Oh, I, as I live and breathe, it's a pretty medieval way to, uh, you know, Jesus. say that you met your one of your favorite wrestlers. Like, uh, hello, my liege. And he's like, hey, man, what's your name? What are you doing out here? And he was asking me. I was like, oh, my God, you know, out with my wife. You know, uh, I'm Frank. Nice to meet you. He's like, hey, listen, I'm going to go use the bathroom. I'm sitting at the corner of the bar. When I come out, let's take a picture. 
I was like, damn, oh, what a nice guy. Bro, super fucking nice. This is the same man who said, <laughs> we got a woman who taught her daughter how to suck dick. <laughs> yeah. What a nice guy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also, like, a couple of weeks ago, he also came out and said, that, like, the, that wrestler that I just brought up, John Moxley, a.k.a. Dean Ambrose. Yeah. He went to alcohol, uh, uh, like, rehab. Mm-hmm. Alcoholics, rehab for being an alcoholic. And he came back, and he on his... Because he has a, a popular... Uh, Sirius XM wrestling show called Busted Open that he hosts, B- Bubba Ray Dudley. Busted. Yeah. And he said, like, he should have apologized to the fans. And people were like, a little tone deaf. But, you know, he was a really fucking nice guy. Oh, so he's in the news. He's definitely in the news. He's also on Stone Cold's podcast that's coming out in like a week or two. Nice. Uh, so I just shook a hand that, like, within a week dapped up Stone Cold. Nice. Just a, just a good week. You just shove your hand in your mouth? No, no, no. I just, I, I didn't even bother, like, he came out. We took a picture. He stayed sitting at the bar with his friends, and uh, then I bought him. Uh, I bought him a drink. Him and his partner. I, I don't know if it was his wife or girlfriend or whatever, but I bought him. Bought him a drink. She was smoky. A good-looking woman for a good-looking guy. You know, he yeah. was. He was also fucking. He had your dad hands, dude. Big frying pan hands. Dude, this guy can fucking. He can like tear a Bible in half. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard anyone say something like that. Never that he, he, oh, he could tear a Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but that's uh, sacrilege, babe. No, yeah, don't do it. If you ever want to fuck with your non-religious well, friends, no, I don't just put a Bible you... in their house, and they can't do anything about it. Wait, hold on. Well, I mean, they could if they wanted to. But... No, then it's like a bad thing to throw a Bible out. Sure, but what I will say is this: I think what you meant to say is a phone, phone book. book. Yeah, <laughs> not the fucking Bible. Bible, not that hard to tear in half. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a smaller document. <laughs> you know what's so funny about these like strong men or whatever mm. is like I've seen videos where I'm like a guy starts. Being like, I'm going to rip this phone book in half. And then he he rips it in half. And you go, whoa. And then for a second, I'm like, okay. You know, like, that's (laughs) the end result. Fuck out of here. That's hard as shit. I'm I'm not debating that it's hard, but it's like, what? what, uh? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's like one of those weird, like old timey feats of strength. Yeah, like where look it's what like, I could do. Ugh. Yeah, where they can like, <laughs> they can lift buckets of water over their head. Like, cool, dude, awesome. Yeah. Uh, I I once ripped a book in half, but it was a thinner book. Why'd you rip it in half? I was bet that I couldn't. Just like I was bet that I couldn't touch that light, which you guys can see on the Patreon, patreoncom slash the basement yard. Uh, we, you know, every Friday we put out an episode for those next tier, those a uh, little higher tier uh, customers, patrons. And Joey dared me a thousand dollars, bet me a thousand dollars I couldn't touch that light, because uh, we're in the new studio. Yes. And um, I'm not gonna say what happens. Does he touch it? Does he not touch <laughs> it? You're gonna have to watch. It gets a little off the rails. But Patreon.com/slash The Basement Yard. Not only do you get for that first tier weekly episodes a week in advance, you also for that next tier up, you get those exclusive episodes every single Friday morning. Start and end your week with the Patreon. Uh, no, with the Basement Yard. Basement Yard on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Basement Yard. Fell apart there at the end a little bit. You did. A little bit. But, but no one's going to even say anything about it. <laughs> they, they're happy for me. Right. I think that people are happier for me than you. Yeah. I, because you're you're like out of their league. Well, you've made me pub- public enemy number one well, on you this know, show. I just want to make sure that the world knows. You're not public enemy. You're a very good, caring, giving person. When the camera, Josh, clip that. When the cameras are on. Clip when they're that. on, Get, clip that. When they're on, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Clip that. <laughs> no, no, no. I, but I like this narrative that I've spun, this web of lies that I've spun. That you're just a tyrant that doesn't respect or treat me with, you know, a plum. A plum. Look that. No, a plum. Oh, a plum. Buh. Yes. A plum. There's a b at the end. Babe. Yeah, a plum. I like that. Uh, also, I don't know what it means. What does it mean? You don't know. <laughs> You don't fucking know. <laughs> do you know? I think it's like you do something with like, you know, like good skill and, and like grace. <laughs> Self-confidence or assurance. Yeah, there you go. So no. Good skill. <laughs> good, skill. <laughs> good skill. Confidence is a skill, babe. <laughs> it's, it's a, you're really stretching that. No, I don't think so. Uh, but that's funny. A plumb. A plum. A plum. A plum. A plum. Not a plum. A plum. A plum. Plums, by the way? Underrated fruit. Mm, maybe if you're old and white. No, I think plums are delicious, bro. You ever? Just... Oh, I'm thinking of prunes. Yeah, prunes suck. Yeah, there's a trash. We give them to my daughter to shit, like the juice. Yeah, I could have done without that. Well, 
She's a baby. Why, why is it shit juice? It makes you pooch? Oh, apparently. Dude, apple juice? Goes through you? Really? Apple juice, dude. I'm shocked. Martinelli's, the glass one, mad good. Really? Have that literally 20 minutes later, my stomach's going, no, no, no. <laughs> and I, I have to, you know. You need to go. Yeah. I what, does this coffee do that to you? Honestly, no. Wow. Because coffee's, so no, I believe people think coffee's more of a diuretic than. Uh, well, some people go crazy with coffee. I only have, I, I will max, which is not usual. Majority of the time, I only have one cup of coffee a day. Not even every day, but like I'll do one. I, Never have three, ever. Three psychopathic. It's. I mean, it's not psychopathic, but some people have like seven cups of coffee a day. And Bro, my mom, up. my mom, legitimately in one morning, like she came a couple weeks ago and spent the uh, spent the like the weekend. She within f- three hours had at least four cups of coffee. Jesus, it was a lot. Yeah, no, I can't do that. I'm afraid. I drink a lot of tea. But like tea is like you know not not as aggressive as coffee. What's bad for you in tea? I don't think there's really much bad for you. I mean, people say that if you have too much tea, you can get like uh, what are the rocks in your peepee called? Kidney stones. That's it. Kidney stones. That's uh, a pretty big one. I don't, yeah, I've never. I don't want to piss out rocks. I don't. I've never gotten any kidney stones. Luckily. How often do you drink tea? M- multiple cups a day. Do you have like a little tea party every day? You have like a. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, I do, do I do have a gong fu setup. Uh, gong fu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, more leaves, less in you know infusion time, so you can let your leaves last throughout you know a couple hours. Oh, I didn't ask for that. Well, you you got it. Yeah, I did. You got it, bitch. I did. <laughs> you got it, bitch. It's hot. It is getting hot. It is a little toasty in here. I gotta take my hoodie off. What are we gonna sweat? do in the summer? Oh, dude, we got the AC. We could blow it, but it's it's too loud. So you gotta blow it. Beforehand. Oh, is it gonna be like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it'll be like that. It'll be a truth. I'll be honest with you, but it'll be a truth. No, um, we do have a couple things uh, that we have to go over because there's a lot in the news, you know, at this time. Oh, okay. But before we get to any of that, you had you had a dream recently. I did. You said that you had it. You you briefly explained it over the phone. Very brief. Please, please, let the people know. I've been playing a lot of Mortal Kombat. Lately, let's just preface this dream with that. Okay. Um, and uh, there was a group of people trying to harm my family, and I had ice powers. Why are you saying group of people? Because I don't remember who they were. Oh. I, I think the. I thought you were gonna be like, "Yo, Russians." No, well, I don't think they were Russian. <laughs> the 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 head was this kid I went to middle school uh, to high school with. The head of the gang. The head of the gang, who um, was an, an Asian American male. Uh, and Oof. but I don't remember anyone else being Asian American. Oh, and he went to like college to like be a like a pastor. Wait, ho- wait, ta- wait. Yeah, is this in the dream or in life? in real life? In real life, you know, an Asian man who went to college to become a pastor to become like a man of God. Yeah, they they teach pastorism in yeah, college. I think you can go to like you know like Grand Canyon University and like all these like Christian schools that it's like you can master you can get your bachelor's of science in fucking God. Bro, you can get, like, a god master. I'm pretty sure you can get it. Yeah, you can get, like, degrees in, like, religious studies. Wait, is that how you become a priest? And how do you become a deacon? Do you got to have, like, a master's degree? I think you need to be cool to become a deacon. Yeah, Anyone they, could be a priest. If you get the title deacon, dude. No, 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 dude. A, a priest is higher than a, than a deacon. Yeah, but a deacon's way cooler sounding than a fucking priest. That's true. It is cooler. Also, a bishop... That's fire. No, you're tra- now or we're a talking. Cardinal, cardinal son. Cardinal. Oh my God. Cardinals would be fire. Like if cardinal you could become stuff. a cardinal, bro, you could become a cardinal. You're like in with like the League of Shadows of the priest churchhood. Cardinals can become the Pope, right? Yeah. Car- pope. By the way, they need a better name for the Pope. Yo, what's the fucking what's the religious hierarchy, bro? I think it's like the Pope, el Papa. Obviously, it's like men than women. Well, well yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's what they believe. Yeah. Uh, but you have el Papa. Who's and then, that? Oh, the Pope. You, and then I think you have like a bunch of cardinals because the cardinals choose the Pope, don't they? And you need to be a cardinal to be a Pope. Damn, they have a, something called an elder. That's that's like that's kind of wizards fire. and shit. Yeah, bro. He's fucking casting. So I got it right. Excuse me? Okay. Who's El, who's El, Top? El Papa? I mean, it's the Pope. Eh? It's El Papa. Yeah. And then we have the Patriarch. Fuck is that? First of all, very symbolic. Yeah, Second of I, all. I yeah. Um, and then we have... It's a group of, of fathers. That's literally what patriarch means. Wait, I don't... I or a patriarch I mean, means like an organ... Like run by the... Sorry, sorry. 
at the top is God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. We forgot about the big one. <laughs> we, we got El Papa. We forgot about, you uh, know, yeah. el, el Supremo. <laughs> Abuelo. Ab- <laughs> That's right. We fucked uh, up. All right. So it's God. Yeah. And then uh, el pop, el papa. Um. Then we have cardinals and archbishop. Bitch. <laughs> Yikes! I meant bishops. No, we know exactly what you meant. <laughs> I said bitch twice. You said archbitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. bitch. <laughs> um. And we have God, Pope, cardinals, and archbishops. Cardinals is way cool than arch. Uh, but arch. What does that mean? Is that like the like the like the bat, like they're the ones that arch could, enemy? They're the ones that could throw it back. No, no, no. Yeah, no. in order to be to do with their regular arch. bishops that could just like fucking like wind and dine, no. dutty wine. <laughs> um, you got like your bishops, and then you got like your archbishop. I thought arch would mean like like you know, the like, enemy, like your arch enemy is like the fucking dope ones. Yeah, so like I think the bishops and the archbishops like fist fight like every. Lent. They're definitely against each other. Yeah, I don't think they're cool with yeah, each no, other. No, no. The ar- yeah, your bishops and archbishops. Find out where you choose. Oh yeah. We're bl- um, by the way, we're we're blaspheming hard I'm this episode. S- sprinting to hell. <laughs> uh, cardinals and archbishops. Cardinals is cooler. Then you have regular bishops, which oh. I still think is cool. Well, that's probably why <laughs> they're they're okay. You know, like first of all, least favorite chess piece. Second of all, easily. I got. Uh, no, that's not true. What? The bishops. Bishops are sh- trash, dude. Nah, bro. Only go diagonal. Pawns are trash. Though. Pa- pawns have a purpose, though. They all got purpose. Well, but but the bishops, though, I don't. I'm not a big fan. I'll be honest with you, and like, this is crazy coming from me because I love animals, but the fucking horse. I like the horse. Horse could be good. You can get a nice little get up with the horse. We'll make an L. Fuck this. Piece. Only only piece that can jump over other pieces, Joey. I, I you don't care. I don't. Uh, go on. Then we have priests. So priests are pretty low on this totem pole. Oh yeah, this is, they aren't like they're not like cool. like so like priests are like you know like teachers. Yeah, they talk that shit like they're very close to God, but we got three, four levels of people above Damn, you, bro. We kind of just we expose priests again. You just been <laughs> for some. I mean, we a, did it again. This is a better exposing, honestly. But, yeah, but yeah, and then and then the last we have deacons. Damn, deacons are lowest. Yeah. All right, I would, I would. And then put, the people, the common, the civilians. Oh, so we're we're dirt. The, the children of God, yeah. We're all children of God, aren't we? That's, that's what, what I they. Mean. That's what they say. Yeah, but we don't teach. So what? Like one is a more favored child. I like think un- under deacons is like CCD teachers. Yeah. And then under that's like your grandma. Oh. <laughs> she's like a teacher. Well, she's under because she's buried down. Under. I mean, she's definitely under the earth's crust. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, the outermost layer. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I would say Deacon <laughs> is just a cooler sounding name. We need to put that higher on the on the hierarchy. Yeah, I think we need to switch up these names, make them more modern. Think about it like this. How many comic book villains do you know that are named like Archbishop or Bishop? None. I know one named Deacon. Who's that? Deacon Frost. Deacon Frost. Yeah, you gotta look it up. But That's I'm saying, fire name. Yeah, right. Yeah. So like, I think deacons deserve more of respect. Where priests? That's just a trash name. What does priest even mean? I'm sure it has some biblical meaning. Probably means like teacher. That's. No one wants to be a teacher anymore. They get underpaid and undervalued by every fucking. No, people want to be priests. Uh, uh, uh. That I don't know. I wonder what the priest market's like. I don't even know how to become a priest. And but you're kind of telling. Bro, you got to go to school. I, I can guarantee. Yeah, but like I thought you, you would have to go to like a priest school, not just like you know you're taking math, phys ed, and priest. Well, they don't teach certain sciences when you go to those schools. Like they'll be like, yo, like our sciences are like no big bang. You know, uh, basically uh, earth science. No physics, yeah. son of a bitch. No, you can do earth science. Like, yo, rocks are for real. That's what I'm saying. You, yeah. do, you can do, like, rocks and, like, the earth and, like, to- topography or whatever it's called. Typography. Yeah, like the looking at, like, like the different terrains. Uh, I, I, think you were ta- I think that's what that means. I, I might be just exposing that I'm a bit of an idiot today. I thought you said typography was, like, that's, like, fonts, like, typing. Is it? Typography? I assume that priests need to uh, type, too. What? No, they write with quills. Do they? That, I think well, then that's like, got to be a class, calligraphy. I've never seen a priest write anything down. They usually just read from they books. They just read. And they do this. They, do you think they have to go to, like, a rhythm class to, like, teach them how to be the word of You have to be able to, like, sing a bit. They have to go to cadence class. Cadence class, yeah. It's got to be, like, a thing. Probably go to college for that. Damn. I think we've offended a, quite a few people here Who's today. Who's offensing? Um... <laughs> We're trying to figure out in real time how to become a priest. 
I think, bro, look it up. How to become a priest. I know how you become a nun. How do you become a nun? You Isn't there, you have to go to like a, you go to a convent. Like an herbery? And you get like, there's like a convent. Po- that's what it's called. What'd you say? Herbery. Herbery? What is that? Like you get like. Like where they have plants and shit. <laughs> You would become a botanist, maybe. <laughs> um, no, you go to you go to a convent, and you go, yo, I'm trying to nun. And they go, all right, cool. And they put you on, like, probation. And, probation? Like, yeah, like, I mean, you can't, you can't. Can't what? Can't bang anybody. And you got to, like, learn, bro. You got to, like, learn the way of the nun. And, bro, like, you think that, like, A they're... big nun comes, and she puts you under her wing, right? And she's like, yo, this is how we nun and shit. And then you, and then you get, like, a graduation. Damn, this is crazy. I never knew this. What's, like, the nun, what are they, like, do they have, like, a hat that they throw? Or do they, you know? Oh, like Sister Act? <laughs> you remember that? Didn't they throw all their nuns yeah, yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I don't know. They get down. You don't know any nuns? I'm surprised. Your grandmother loved God, she dude. Probably, she probably knew a nun or two, but I never was introduced. Or maybe I was. I was too young. You've I mean, been confirmed. Yeah, I got confirmed. You, so you're, you're in in this world. You're closer to being a priest than me, babe. Bro, yeah, 100%. I'm more qualified. Well, you're, you're, yeah, because... because yeah, you, in the eyes of the creator. Um, the, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I got confirmed, that was the first time I ever had wine. Damn, what it tastes like? You throwing it back, bro? I did not like it. You didn't like it? No. And also, looking back on it, it's so weird that like we would go to church and there'd be a bunch of old people that were like near death. A lot of them were very old. Yeah, everyone's near death. Just how close they are. Thanks, Plato. <laughs> uh, but we were at church. <laughs> we were at church, and like we'd go up, and they'd have the wine, and people would take a sip, and then the guy would just do this. Bro, germs. Bro, they bro, don't germs. They don't believe in germs, man. They should hand out nips. The church they should, like, oh, just slam this. Do you think they did that during like COVID? Hell no, bro. What were they doing during COVID? I, were they even I open? No, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't think the church was open. I think it could. It had to have been open. I mean, they play by a different playbook than. Yeah, they. Yeah. Well, we already knew that. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, that was the first time I had wine, and I remember having it. And at first, because you're taught it's the blood of Christ, and I was like, is there blood in this? Like blessed blood, not like the brother. I always blood. wanted to eat the body of Christ. Hey, Amen. I yeah, I've had that. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I've had it too, like the little like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But I, I like... Not bad, not bad, not bad. When I became older, like I, I haven't had it in like 15, 16 years it's probably. It's been a while since I've had some host. And honestly, I kind of miss it. Can you buy this shit on like, yo, yeah, Amazon? Not like Restaurant Depot. You can go there and get like a whole fucking box. Of really? Products. Yeah, probably. One time in CC. You always scared the shit out of me. Who is it? It's Greg. Oh my God, bro. You scared you fucking scared me, bro. You dog shit out of us. God, he's, he's in a window. You scared the fuck out of me. But I, one time I was in CCD class, and I saw in the back of the classroom, it was like um, like you would put pretzels in, but it was filled with, like, hosts. The hosts? And I was like, yo, what the hell? Damn, they disrespecting the body of Christ, just putting them in jars and shit? No, but it makes sense. Where are they, they going to – you have to package these. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of funny that it's the body of Christ, and they sell it at Restaurant Depot. For well, I made eight, that part eight, up. $8.99. I made that part Greg, up. Greg. It's definitely not that much. How religious are you? Zero. Okay. He's not religious. 10%. Tep, well, how do you ca- how, how do you ca- gauging that ten percent religious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that mean that like you are? Oh, what does that God. mean? He oh. needs to get on camera. Frankie, you called him over. Here. I called uh, from the other room. I hope he could have answered. I'm ten percent religious because my mom will get mad at me. Gotcha. Is your mom? What does your mom like study? That's not what it's called, Frank. <laughs> Practices? What does she study? <laughs> yeah, she's a practicing she's Catholic. Catholic. She's a practicing Catholic. Okay. Yeah. So like, if you, do you know like any nuns or priests? Oh, I, I've seen a priest. I was at I was at, I was well, I was at Ralph's house one time, and a priest was just chilling in the backyard. And I was like, "Yo, are we supposed to?" <laughs> I was like, I, "And I have I'm walking in with white claws and shit." And I'm like, "Yo, is this okay, Father?" Like, and he's over there with. I, Did he bless it? No, I'm, I, yo, I should. Yo, I, God damn it! Missed opportunity. But really, you fucked like, yo, up. Can, can you just wave your hand? Over just this? wave your hand over the white claws, and you'll feel less bad about what you're about to do. <laughs> yeah. As you and, dive into a table of fucking. <laughs> I'm over there playing beer pong with fucking Father O'Malley here. Bro, if I was at a party and a priest or nun showed up, I'm, turn, I'm, I'm turning it I'm up. letting you know they're guest shot in that whole shit. I'd be like, yo, bring out the Eucharist. Yeah, yeah, What is it yeah. called? The blood of Christ? Amen. No, yeah, the blood of... Just well, bring that shit out. Let's get drunk off the blood of Christ. He would love that, dude. Yeah. What would make uh, him happier than like people like just like basking in happiness and joy and... On his blood, probably less alcohol. I would say. Yeah, I would say. A but then maybe th- make his blood not alcoholic. Then. Yeah, it's true. Honestly, that's true. Yeah, because alcohol is a sin. Jesus turned the the oh he turned water water into wine. Into wine which, yeah. Imagine that power, bro. I don't want anyone to drink, but I'm gonna turn the water into wine. 
I don't know what I'm it's talking really about. really set me up for failure. That's why a lot of it's old... It's entrapment. Account- well, yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, anyway, now that we've uh, offended everyone, um, let's get to these ads. <laughs> All right, the first sponsor that we have for today uh, is Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix, um, whether you need refined workwear or casual basics, Stitch Fix can help you elevate your look, your style, all right? It's like having a personal stylist. So you just go on their site, you take a quick style quiz, so you tell them like, okay, I like my stuff a little baggy or slim fit, I like which patterns you like or what kind of clothes you wear, Um, and then they go right to work, they learn your preferences, and they go out there and they find also your size. You gotta tell them your height, your weight, whatever it is, and then uh, you find out your size, Um, and it's always not, your size doesn't always, is your size depending on the brand, so they will know that as well. Sometimes you buy a medium from this place and it fits good, the other place it's like, this is too big. So they will figure that all out for you and they will uh, send you some clothes and they'll pick some items out. but yeah, it's great. Um, you can get started today by filling out your free style quiz at stitchfix.com slash basement and take the advantage of free shipping and returns. Um, like I said, you, you take the quiz, they learn your preferences, and then they pull fresh items from brands that you love, all right? So, and then they'll send them to you. Um, so yeah, you want to, to step up your game, step up your look, step up your style, you're gonna wanna do that with Stitch Fix. Again, that is stitchfix.com slash basement. Uh, and uh, yeah, get it, try the free style quiz and find out what kind of style you like, all right? It's great. Go check them out. Um, next here, we have BetterHelp, big sponsor of the of the show. Uh, BetterHelp is online counseling, so anyone out there that wants to deal with, uh, that needs help dealing with something, whether it be trauma or anxiety or depression or any of these types of things, you want to seek some therapy, and BetterHelp has helped uh, over 2 million people, um, you know, with, with whatever they got going on. And you can start communicating with a therapist in, in under 48 hours, so it's a very quick turnaround. You're not waiting for weeks at a time. Um, it's just under 48 hours, and also to find the right fit is very seamless. You can jump from therapist to therapist. They make it very easy to do that as well. Um, and you can also save some money if it's your first time. Uh, you know, you go to betterhelp.com uh, slash basement yard, and you'll get 10% off your first month. That is B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash basement yard. You'll get 10% off your first month. Um, but yeah, I've been in therapy. I think that everyone should do therapy. It's nothing to be ashamed of or anything like that. You also don't need a reason to do therapy. I think that it's good to just have someone to talk to that is not biased. It's a great thing. So go check them out, uh, betterhelp.com slash basement yard. Get 10% off your first month for that. Um, next here we have Athletic Greens, uh, which is a, a, a great product here um it's it's a basically like a supplement for vitamins so with one scoop uh of ag1 you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamin uh, vitamins minerals whole food sourced superfoods probiotics and adaptogens so basically everything that you want in your body you could get in one scoop um, to help you start your day right and i've actually seen a lot of uh people that i follow who use this stuff. And I know people personally that do, uh, that do use, uh, athletic greens and it's just a great way to, you know, support your health, your immune system, uh, your gut health, uh, you know, mainly, um, but yeah, it helps with energy and focus. So it's a good supplement and it's one drink, boom, one scoop, mix it in and you're good. You got all of these things in your body. That's, that's how you want to start your day. Um, you know, everyone is always trying to get healthier or start a new diet or do this and that. But this is a great way to start your day. Your breakfast, when you break your fast, uh, is probably the most important meal. And this is a great way to do it with all these things in it. Um, But yeah, right now, it's time to reclaim your health and uh, arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. Uh, It's just one scoop of water every single day. Uh, That's it. No need for a million different pills or supplements to look out for your health. Um, To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you uh, a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamins D and f- uh, five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com/basement. Again, that is athletic green. I'm sorry, athleticgreens.com/basement to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. So, guys, get to it. Athleticgreens.com/basement. Go get it. Uh, but I heard great things about it, so definitely try it out and let me know how it is. Um, and lastly here, we have Novo. Novo is powerful, simple uh, business checking. And unlike the traditional banking model, Novo has 
no minimum balances, no transaction limits, and no hidden fees. Instead of a one-size-fits-all approach, Nova was customized to your business to save you time and free up cash flow with seamless integrations to Stripe, Shopify, QuickBooks, online, and more. And that's usually what everyone is using, so that is extremely uh, convenient. Uh, you can sign up for Novo for free and join the community of over 150,000 fearless small businesses who found the customizable business uh, checking solution that admires their brave. Uh, sign up for your free business checking account right now at novo.co slash basement. Plus the Basement Yard listeners get access to over $5,000 in perks and discounts. Go to novo.co slash basement to sign up for free novo.co slash basement um, novo platform inc is a fintech not a bank banking services provided by middlesex federal savings fa members fdic terms and conditions may apply okay all right <laughs> um all right but you never let me finish my story about my dream oh yeah shit. so the asian kid uh <laughs> was like they were trying to take my family my right. kids my, my he wife. was trying to take your he family. was trying to take and i had ice powers so when I would go like this, you had ice power. Ice powers, dude. Sub Zero. I'm talking like good one, not not like Bihan, like the new Sub Zero. I don't. Go ahead. That's part of the Lin Kuei. I don't know what that is. But Someone I'm is getting their fucking the Archbishop's at work, <laughs> baby. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Uh, I would go like this. Yeah. And I would make an ice sword. Okay. I would go like this, and I would make ice daggers. In, oh, I thought you were doing claws. No, no, no. I would go like this. Oh, my God. And I would make, like, knuckles with, like, spikes on the end for fighting. This is all in your dream. In my dream. You had ice powers. Yes. And then if I'd go like this, I could make balls and, like, fire them. <laughs> I could make balls. Ice balls. Yeah. And uh, Snowballs. Let's yeah. just call them what they are. Well, well no. You not snowballs. They yeah. were ice balls. They were hard snowballs. Very hard. Yeah. Dangerous. Hail. Gotcha. And uh, I, I was fighting this group of people that were trying to take my family. I was trying to do the noble thing. The Asian people that you referenced. Well, no, 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 no. They were led by a single Asian man. Right. It doesn't mean they were all Asian. I honestly, I think one of them was Jamie Foxx, oddly enough. Not helping my cause here. He's not Asian. <laughs> oh, Jamie, yeah. <laughs> Any white people or just, it was just a... Uh... I think there was one or two whites. <laughs> But how many people are you talking about, by the way? I, by the way, there was like four or five of them. And I was fighting. Oh, dude, I was thinking at least 30 here. No, it like, didn't take that many. I mean, you that said would, these people were coming for me. Yeah, there was I'm like four or five, five of them. My kids, small. Yeah. One person can handle both of them. True. Two people to, to you know, to... Well, one with ice powers. Well, well, but I had the ice powers. And no one in your family was powerful? None. Got it. You know? How did this end? Uh, I got woken up before I could save them. So I am right now, like in my dream, my family's gone. And I'm just right. sitting there like iced out. What a... <laughs> Frankie you woke up like this. I actually, I swear to God, I woke up with my hands like this. I, I Were you know, in the middle of a fight? I don't know what I was. Yes, I was. And he was holding my daughter and using one hand on me. I was getting fucked up in my own dream. You were getting fucked up in your own dream with a man who was holding your daughter and beating you up with one hand. And I had ice powers and I couldn't do a what goddamn. What did he have? I, just really fast reflexes. That's my, that tells you about my confidence is I get beat up in my own dreams. <laughs> Even with his powers. Damn. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't fare well against this man. Not, a, not a good showing for you, bud. I could have done better, probably, but you know, you, you live and you learn. Well, you know, that's that's one way to have dreams, and actually, that's a good segue into the next story that that I have here that I want to tell you about. Um, but I found this online, um, and this girl thought she was having weird dreams because she would wake up and she thought she was hearing like these like demons or something in her head, and she thought like. She was being haunted or that her house was haunted or some shit. Uh, and then I think she like set up a camera and then uh, she was left stunned because she actually found out that on the camera, her boyfriend's mom would st sneak into the room at night and she would just whisper like evil shit to her. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. She would, uh, she would whisper evil, evil shit. What's evil shit? Like demonic? Like, you like, know, like, like summoning, I, summoning Baphomet or someone? Who's... Uh, the bat. No. It's, it's a... um, she said when she downloaded an app to hear herself snore at night, but she ended up hearing a voice saying it wants to unalive me and say hateful things. Oh, that's TikTok lingo because you can't say like kill because they'll be like, they'll pull the video. What? So they say unalive. But so it's like she heard a voice saying like they're going to kill you and like saying hateful stuff. 
Um, so she's like, she, she thought it was a ghost. I, so I think it's a ghost in my room, but it turns out it's my boyfriend's mom coming into, into my room and saying those things while I slept while hovering over me. Dude, that is fire. How fucking crazy is that? That is, first of all, super creepy. Um, all these videos that people have of like, you know, like people sneaking into their home. Like you ever see the one where it was like the guy like would notice he was missing food. So he set up a camera and he found like someone was like living in his crawl space. Bro, you never saw that shit? Frankie. You never saw that? No. Let me tell you this right now. I find a video. but I, uh, I find a video like that. And I see that there's actually a man living in the crawl space showing his face and being like, yo. Scarier. It was I'm like a skinny woman. Dude. Nothing scares a man like a skinny woman. <laughs> <laughs> Quote that. Put that on a shirt. We're selling it for merch. <laughs> Oh my god! Nothing scares a man like a skinny woman. No, bro, it, it's fucking creepy. But this is kind of like genius and super petty. I, she would. It was saying things like, uh, "You're so ugly." Okay. And yeah. I hate you. <laughs> and curse words. Can you imagine sleeping at night? Your your bro, boyfriend's mom's like, "You're ugly." You're ugly. <laughs> I'm going to kill you in your sleep. Like, just do it. I hate you. You're ugly, bro. Is that like a crime? I don't even know. Yeah, like, bro, you could you could say, you could say whatever the fuck you want. Like First Amendment, baby, freedom of speech. That's <laughs> freedom of speech. <laughs> um, uh, the woman says she, she has yet to confront her boyfriend's mom. Oh, well, too late. It's oh, out. She, she's living in her house uh, after she was recently, uh, she was released from prison recently. The mother, I think. Oh, uh-huh. oh we're, we're, we're throwing a little bit of a monkey wrench in here. She might have some mental disorder or something. What the fuck's that mean? That changes the fact that she's going, you're ugly to yeah. a sleeping yeah. person. That, that's funny as shit. I'll tell you this right now, bro. Do not hover over me if I'm sleeping. I'm My dog you know, does that, and I, 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 I'm I, letting you know right now, we're actually going to be away this weekend. You hover over me? And I'm going to whisper something in your ear when you're sleeping, 100,000%. And I know you're going to get upset about it. Like, it, beforehand, you're you'll, so ugly. We'll laugh about it afterward, but, like, in the moment, you'll be like, Joe, are you fu- Like, seriously? I mean, I'll, be, I'll do that if you do it at 4 a.m. I don't, it might be 4 or 5. Don't, you never know. Don't do that. I wake up pretty early. Yeah, but that's before you have a bunch of drinks and yeah. Oh, man. Oh, and oh, I would whisper this shit in your ear, just like, you are, you are worthless. Everything about you has led to sadness in me. Sadness in me. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, do you know anyone that like you would do this to? Hover over them and say hateful stuff. <laughs> yeah. I would do it to you, but like I'd say like positive things, like reinforce you. I'd be like, You're so pretty. I'm like everything about you makes me proud. That would honestly scare me too. <laughs> really? Yeah, dude. I get easily spooked at night. Like I really don't like fuck with voices and shit. You wouldn't, uh, bro. You would not. There was one night I was sleeping and I woke up. Because I heard a doorbell go off. Like, I heard it. But the doorbell didn't go off. Didn't go off. And there was no one there. See, like, that, like, makes me feel insane. I almost knocked my contact out. But, like, that kind of shit makes me feel insane. Because I've had moments of that, too, where I've been like, did someone just touch me? And then I'm, like, alone. And I'm like, no. I can't. I would, I would love to see you in... By the way, God Almighty, thank you for bringing this up. There is a Picky Boy video. Well, saying I got a Studios video that's coming out in, I don't know when, yeah. but Joey and I do like a scary VR game. It is the funny shit. Yo, it's scary, bro. I really don't do well. You're not. You're when not I good. know that like, I'm about to be scared, I'm just like, sometimes I'll be watching a scary movie and I'll just be like, Looking at the screen, but not looking, because I'm like, I'm, I don't want to. That's be what Becca does. But Becca and I watch, and she doesn't want to see what's going on. She just looks at me. <laughs> She's oh. just like, let me know. What, she goes, or I'll be like, oh, I gotta get something from my pockets, and just be like, God, I pop love out already. I love that shit. You're I like love that scared? shit. I watch it, and I'm just like, yeah, bro, I'm all about that. Well, I went to the haunted houses at uh, um, Universal, and like that was fun for some reason. I guess it's different if I'm like, if it's in person. Well, because you know they can't do anything. Like, you know, like, they're going to jump out and not yeah, be able still, to touch you. I'd rather be jump scared, like, in person than, like, on a TV. I don't know why that doesn't make any sense, but, like, it just does, dude. Well, because I think, like, you don't know, like, when you're in person, again, like, you know nothing is going to happen, but, like, you're afraid of the unknown. I had nightmares the other day as a grown man. What were they about? I don't remember. I had a nightmare, too. And I, like, I remember waking up and being like, I don't want that to happen again. I remember just waking up and being like, I am scared. Nightmares can be a little scary. Dude. They're I, not fun. As a kid, I used to not fuck with that. Bro, you ever cry at a sleepover? 
I'm sure I did. I can't remember much. I, I never cried at a sleepover, but I loved sleeping over people's houses. I love people sleeping over my house. Bro, you remember sleepovers when you'd be like, yo, the boys are staying up late. We're just going to just talk shit and eat make each gushers, other laugh. Eat gushers, like, uh, I don't know, like Google Girls or something. I actively remember sleeping over at your place and we would sleep in the living room and your mom on multiple occasions coming downstairs and being like, guys, go to sleep because yeah, we yeah. were laughing the whole night. Yeah, my parents were big on go to sleep. Yeah. yeah my, my parents big on not having anyone sleep over. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't really sleep over your house too much. Well, I don't think, have I ever slept over your house? Yeah, when we had like parties and oh, stuff. Well, it, was beca- it was because it was tough, you know, with my grandmother and stuff being there. Yes, glory. You know. Or, or, yeah, <laughs> wherever she I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we don't know. No, no, no. no. She, per, per my grandmother point. always told this story for her for her 10th birthday. She was born in like 26 or 29 or whatever. BC? Oh, no. <laughs> 1926. Yeah. I think it was 26. She always told this story. It was 26. That for her like 10th birthday, she wanted like a girl that she was in school with, a black girl from the neighborhood to come to her party and her parents wouldn't let her. And she, she like cried and cried and she only always told this story so you know how, like everyone's Damn, like dude you know how everyone's like oh like your grandparents did and said some things like i for the most part think that my grandmother my mom's mom yeah was like a, a nice woman yeah i mean that's a that's a very nice that's thing. a very nice loving thing to do in the fucking 30s dude yeah it was like cool to be racist back then yeah <laughs> not cool like now but like back then that's like you know they were smoking cigarettes and they were like oh everyone's doing it fucking yeah, yeah. losers <laughs> <laughs> damn Gloria's going against the grain Sam right. Gloria from Astoria going against the grain, babe. Damn. They probably called her that, didn't they? You know they? that she, well, yeah. Oh, she, they called her Go-Go. Well, she was a beauty queen. Do you know that? Your grandma? Yeah. Your she, grandma was a rocket ship? She, apparently, she was a smoke. Damn, dude. You have old pictures of her? I, I'm sure if I, like, dig, I'm not going to do it now, but she won, like, Miss Astoria. Like. They have pageants? They did back in the fucking 40s, I guess. Yeah. She was like, they loved her. For Gloria. Yeah. And then she had a grandson that would prank call her about old friends from high school. Yeah, what a piece of <laughs> shit he turned out to be. Uh... <laughs> Can't win them all, babe. Wait, why are we talking about this? Go go. Before that, we were talking about something. I wanted to say something. You were going. You were talking about your nightmares. And then yeah, we were talking yeah. about the woman whispering sweet nothings in that girl's ear. Well, sweet nothings, I wouldn't really. Honestly, say. if you find out that your mom is, you know, whispering sweet nothings into your partner's ear, do you like? Hell no. You're not upset about it. Oh, no, I'm violently upset. You're bad. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? But, like, would you, like, be like, all right, listen, like, you know? No, no, I wouldn't be nice. I'd be like, what are you doing? That's your mom, dude. 100% I you're would You're going to scream at your mom? Yeah, I broke my mom's rib, you know. That's right, you did. You're, you're a violent man. <laughs> I broke my mom's rib. Damn. Broke the fuck out of it. She was in pain for months. Yeah, she's all right. Yeah, she got roped. She's, she's Irish. She's been through way worse. I just, I hugged her too hard when I was drunk. <laughs> and she was like, oh, and I was like, no. <laughs> broke her rib. That's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, dude. I have never, I don't think, like, purposefully. That's when I realized, I'm like, oh, my, you can't just, like, f- you know, pick up your mom at this age, you know? Yeah, you can't, especially when you were drunk. You would have dropped her made more damage. Well, I was wearing a Superman onesie, so I did have some extra power. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! And, and beer muscles, Joe, so you definitely had extra power. Definitely did a couple, one, two, three, four, five keg stands down there. Keg stands? Yeah, in the driveway. Damn, I've done like three keg stands in my whole life. I didn't really like them. First time I did, let's drink I... upside down. It's like, what are we bad? Yeah, it was not that cool. It's not that cool. First time I did, I almost like really got sick, really, really bad. That was like the first time I ever remember getting like hung over, and it was at Pete's graduation party. So I did a keg stand of like lion's head. The fuck is that? It was like a beer that they had in kegs. And you remember fucking Pete's place? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anytime you go to Pete's place, he's like, "Yo, you want this Vietnamese chocolate brewed beer?" And it's like, <laughs> "Bro, just give me a fucking Coors Light or something," you know. And if you say that to Pete, he'll get pissed, yeah. boy. Oh, uh, but uh, you drink that piss. Yeah. You drink. Okay. Uh, this is this is absolutely absurd. This is abhorrent. <laughs> yeah. No, but and then as soon as I finished the keg stand, he handed me a nip of Jack Honey. I was like, drink this. And I took it and I was like, this is like, I'm going to throw it's up. Coming. And, but I didn't. You held it together. I, would, I didn't. Did I ever tell this story? Damn. I don't know if I ever told this story. All right. This was 2012. The world was supposed to end. And it, it, for me, it did that day. Did it? I was out on Long Island and I had like a friend who had driven me out there. Uh, but it was like a girl that I was like, kind of like, you know, maybe dating a little bit. Like, you know, we, we were interested in each other, but there was no, like, concrete, like, hey, let's let's do this. 
She's not listening. Just go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Because I posted that clip for, uh, talking about New Haven, Connecticut, and there are people that commented on it that I was like, I forgot existed. And I was like, <laughs> oh, shit. But, um, oh, God. I, I really hope she's not listening. Uh, but she, I'm not going to give her name. She drove me home. And I, like, the next day, she, like, nursed me back to health because I was fucking... Bro, I felt like garbage. Nurse, like a baby nurse? No, like no, like, feeding? no, like I was on the couch, like in the pitch black. She kept like bringing me food and like stuff to drink, Gatorade, blah, 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 blah. Nursed me back to health. Made me feel like better. And she was my ride back to Astoria because mm-hmm. I didn't have a car at the time. I don't, I think I had my license at this point in time. And she was like, oh, we're going to, now remember, Pete and them are from Long Island. We're going to stop in Harlem at, uh, we're going to see my dad. I'm like, oh, where's your dad? And she's like, oh, he's in a home. Her father had suffered a stroke. Mm-hmm. And he was in like a, not a vegetative state, but he was in a wheelchair and he, he couldn't speak. Mm-hmm. So this girl, as like, that I was like interested in at the time, brought me and her dad just stared at me the whole time. Like Breaking Bad? <laughs> like that guy from Breaking Bad? Yeah. And, and? and like we were there for like an hour. And he just stared at you. And, He just stared at me. He stared at me. And I remember feeling so uncomfortable, but like, I didn't... Did you say anything to him? Hi, Mr. Whatever. Yeah. You know, like, I I, I introduced myself. Like, I was being respectful, but I remember, like, it was apparent... He didn't fuck with you. It was apparent he did not want me there. And, like, he clearly knew, like, his, like, young, you know, 20-year-old, 21-year-old daughter was bringing this kid, like... What do you think? Like, as a father, you know what I mean? Like, you immediately think, like, who is this little douchebag? Yeah. And I was a douchebag. Yeah. But I remember just, like, I was so uncomfortable, and I felt so bad because I didn't want to be rude, but, like, he, like, didn't break eye contact with me the whole time. And she would, like, talk to him, and he would, like, look at her and, like, you know, like, smile. And then right back to me. And you. then right back to me, like a fucking, like, Damn, lasers, what, dude. What, like, shirt were you wearing? Maybe it was something you were wearing. You were wearing- I, I'm sure if I look up pictures, but it was, it was the morning after Pete's graduation party, so I felt like garbage. I was in clothes I, I probably slept in. Yeah. I, I didn't give a first impression on this guy that was anything to, you know, Yikes, write home about. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember any of my first impressions of really. I remember one time I was, like, seeing this girl kind of, and she was like, oh, like, wait till you meet, meet my dad. Like, everyone's afraid of him. You smacked the dog shit out of him? No, but I met this guy, <laughs> and I was like, I'll put this pipsqueak in a headlock. Are yeah? Yeah. Bro, he was like, a, he was like five seven. Well, you're, Joey, you're five eight, so don't don't like. I'm not five eight. No, sorry, five six. Five ten. Okay, <laughs> close <laughs> enough. I need every inch I can get. Yeah, yeah I, I know. But he was like five seven, and I was just like, oh, and he wasn't like, oh fuck it, how you doing? He was just like, hey, 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 hey how are you? It's like he smoked cigars. All right, cool. Like, yeah, I remember my my dad. Uh, like that was like something my sister played up with my dad. Was like my dad like once did her like voicemail message remember when people would do that when they would either put music or they would do like like family members so my dad like for my sister's voicemail it was like listen up jessica's not here <laughs> don't fucking leave a message and it was like oh shit oh he did yeah he did i swear to god <laughs> my my sister thought it would be funny and you know damn i never did anything cool like that never no because your dad probably wouldn't be able to, like, leave a message. He'd be like, Ugh. Yeah, my dad doesn't even know how to work a phone. My dad will send me an email. There'll be nothing in, in like, the email, but the subject line will be his email. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just get an email with a long-ass subject line and, like, nothing in the and, thing. And nothing in the, like, and the body. I just want to be like, Dad, hit tab. And then, <laughs> and then put that there. But he doesn't, he doesn't get it. He's Full never, senses. Not very technologically savvy. No, not that man at all. Yeah, you know, you live and you learn. No, you don't, Frank. Second time I've said that this episode. Is it? Keeping track. When did you say it before? About something. I think about, like, you know, like, priests. <laughs> we got to get off priests. We need to stop. I think that's the last time we'll ever talk about priests. That's not true. Not true at <laughs> all. Father, forgive me. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Before we wrap up the show, we can't not talk about this. But this guy, which I looked into it, he is a, I think, a comedian. Oh. Um, but he, he like walked into a, I don't, what are these things? I think they're like, you like, know, like hearings. Like, like you could like, like they're like open floors, like public town meetings. Yeah, you can go in there and be like, oh, the public bathrooms in the parks are dirty. Yeah, they're like town hall meetings and stuff like that. Yeah, I remember seeing them on Parks and Rec, so they must be real. But this one was like, 
this guy came in and he uh, just wrote like a rap song. And uh, I'll just play it. Oh, this is. This is good. Hope you guys like my flavor. By the way, beat? Slaps oh, a little bit. It fucks up. <laughs> Hold on, wait, pause it, pause it. Come on, audio. All right, so we we he starts off, you know, being a stand for Ukraine, of course, and wanting to put a bullet in, in Putin's brain. Vladimir Putin, you know, the, you know, leader of Russia, the leader of Russia. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and parse through any uh, political. We're uh, not putting a, a bullet in anyone's brain. Um, definitely not. Literally. Yeah, I mean, if it were to happen. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. That's right. That's right. But I'm not saying I'm going to make this happen. Well, smart man. He's clearly doing a rap of some sort. He's establishing his message from the onset. You know, most of the great rappers of the last 30 years have been able to introduce to you their sentiments toward the beginning of their song. So as it progresses, it only strengthens that. Onward. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. And that's it. Stop that. Stop that right now. He's a pimp. On a blimp. He's on a blimp or does he own a blimp? I think it's I'm a pimp on a blimp. I thought he said I'm a pimp. I own a blimp. First of all, let's make it very clear. Either of those, that's awesome. Really fucking cool. (laughs) Because you don't see a blimps very often. You don't see blimps very often. So if you're a pimp on a blimp, that's exclusive. You don't see pimps very often either. I haven't seen a pimp in uh, 10 years. At least. Yeah. So you think about it if you're a pimp. Right. That's where they've been this whole time. Also, on the blimp. If you're a, <laughs> if you're a pimp and you own a blimp, very good pimp. That is a lucrative deal that you got right that is there. One successful pimp. I mean, you think about marketing alone, okay. a- and realistically, it's like the bat signal in the sky. People always see it and they're like, "Oh my God, Batman's around!" Right. You're a pimp on a blimp. Right. They're gonna see the blimp and go, "God damn, my pimp is around." There's the pimp. You gotta be careful, or else this pimp in. Nine to ten hours will make it to the ground, make its way toward me. I'm in big trouble. You are in big trouble. Because they come to collect. They don't fuck around. And he talks about shrimp. Yeah, there was something there at the end. Hold on. I'm a pimp. I'm a blimp. Yeah. Unless they're stacking shrimp. No, you can't. Unless, unless they're stopping shrimp. Unless they're stack in, in lasses stacking shrimp. One more time. I'm a pimp. I'm a blimp. Unless they're stacking shrimp. No, you can't. Can't stop it. Bro, I, I just want everyone to know something, right? <laughs> just so we're like crystal clear. Yeah. This is happening in one of those rooms that, you know, you watch the news or something and you'll see like people at a round table, like a professional setting. And everyone's in suits. In, I believe it's Plano, in Texas. Plano, Texas, which doesn't strike me as the most inviting environment for something like this. I would say no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey. Put a bullet in Putin's brain. What? You know that is the plan. I'm a Zelensky stand. Pause it real quick. <laughs> Yo, this guy is going hard. I'm all not right. Gonna First lie. of all, let's break this down again. Let's just say it out. For, like, he's going hard. He's going very hard. Yeah. Zelensky, uh, who I believe is the mayor of Kiev in, in Ukraine. I could be wrong about that. You are. Big head. Well, who is he? The president. Okay. <laughs> mayor, president, you know, priest, archbishop. <laughs> Bob, he's Bob. He's, he's the Bob. Bob of he's a Papa of Ukraine. <laughs> he's the Bob of Ukraine. I'm just saying, like, he's saying, like, right. Oh, he's a VIP, babe. He's a VIP. His guy clearly likes him a lot. And what they're not to like. This guy said he's going to fight for his country. Pretty honorable. Nice thing to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, doesn't have very nice things to say about Vladimir Putin, though. No, he wants to put a bull in his brain. Again. Again. Like, he's saying it again. Like, oh, oh, yeah. He's, he's driving home, like, bro. That's the plan, he said. That's the yeah. plan. I mean, that's his plan. We're not. Hey, if uh, listen, there. I'm not saying this. Some, some this guy in Plano, Texas, is. <laughs> so, there were there were murmurs about cyber attacks coming from Russia. I'm just listen. We're just being neutral. One second. And he grinds and shines. Vladimir Zelensky, you are so smart. What's the smart? Did somebody find 
Come here. No, what? What can you say? Fuss and write me straight again. I love you. And I love to run and grind all the time. And you got that sanitizer. And you know I got that Pfizer. Just got demonetized. You <laughs> Pull that some bitch out, baby. He's what is he saying? He's he's putting an, an antibacterial on his body. On his body at, at the, the party, party, sipping Bacardi. Yeah, like God it. damn. Imagine being drunk at a party and just putting antibacterial. On your I body. mean, it'd probably be a little uncomfortable to a degree. I would say so. Although I do like that it makes you feel cold. What what are you doing with that? This is what I do. <laughs> When I put on hand sanitizer, I go like this because it makes it cold. You like that feeling? Yeah. Like when you when you eat five gum. Yes. And it's like you're chewing, you're chewing five gum. This is the commercials. You don't I remember don't. those? It's like <laughs> you feel like the chew five gum. Bro, sipping Bacardi at the at the party at the party with a hand sanitizer on his body. Yeah. His, yeah. Vaccinate him straight or gay. Is that what he said? He said, "Vaccinate me straight or gay." I don't think there was a discrepancy about that. I, I, yeah, I, I didn't know. I, I think he was just trying to make some things. have got that wrong. My, my some, trying to make some things rhyme. Uh, also, I, I have yet to figure out that shrimp line. Yeah, I, well, I think it's, you know, he's stacking shrimp. Well, what we know about this man, he's a Zelensky stan. He's uh, a pimp on a, on a blimp. On a he, blimp. Or he, or he owns a blimp. Grinds and shines. Right. And, uh, he gave us a hall pass. Because he's teaching class. Exactly. Um, this guy really is just kind of breaking ground here. Also, the plan... Put a bullet in, in Putin's brain. That's well, that's his plan. That's his plan. His, his plan. He uh, this that. is what Mr. Plano, Texas rapper said. We're just reporting. Listen, you know, no fake news here, babe. Just saying. Just but, letting you know what we have been told. I can only just play the audio, and that's what it is. We don't really have control over anything. Is there else. more? I think there's a little more. Um, yeah, but I, I didn't want to, you know, I felt like he was respect, going, respect the rapper. It was going too hard. Oh, you thought he was going to start like, like letting like, like racial slurs pop. No, I wasn't afraid of that. Oh, at all. by I the way, this guy white. Yeah. Yeah. We've known that. Yeah. He was wearing a blue suit with a, with a gold tie. He kind of looked like Tucker, Tucker Carlson. Uh Oh, if this was, I would love Tucker Carlson and him to have just like a rap beef and they just go back and forth and Tucker Carlson's like, let me tell you. I don't know anything about that guy, but he's like a comedian. Like I like looked him up, and he was like obviously fucking around when doing that and just being ridiculous. But I really wish, because when I first saw that, I'm like, tell me this man no if, holds office somewhere. <laughs> tell me that. if he did, he would be president in a week. I mean, yeah, I'd probably vote. For him. Yeah, you know, I'd definitely vote for him if he spits bars like that. Honestly, I think that's how we should decide who's going to be president. It should be like rap, a fucking a rap battle. Rap battle. You know, March Madness oh. style. Oh, know? well, you know what? I got to admit, though, if that was the case, if it was like, you know, like diss raps, yeah. Trump never would have lost. Oh, my God. He would have been He would have been, yeah. <laughs> he would have had a Papa Doc-like run. Oh, my God, <laughs> dude. Yeah, we would have waited for fucking Beto O'Rourke B-Rabbit to come around and just smoke his ass. But it <laughs> never would have happened. Trump would have uh, just hit him with a line just like, you're so gay. Yeah, and it's like, damn. He hey. Got, he drops that G-bomb, it's over now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, hey, 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 my name is Trump. I'm going to kick you in your rump. Okay, Frank. You're going to tell me that white men don't use the term rump? Do they? My mom was big on the hiney back in the day. Hiney? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, you should, she used to call my butt a coolie. I've, I've heard coolie, yeah. You're a little coolie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miles. Um, you say he's got a coolie? No, I don't say it, but like I've heard, like I think his grandmother, when he like, you know when like kids don't wipe well and, they, and it, like, it like itches? Okay. She said to him, like, you got coolie bugs. That's disgusting. Yeah, imagine you got ass Coolie bugs, bugs, dude. You got ass bugs, bro. Yeah, dude. Fix your fucking stepson's ass. He's got bugs in him. What a good day. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's the episode. I don't really know. I honestly don't even know what we talked about. <laughs> this was <laughs> quite. I got to be honest with you. I don't know why, but I feel like when we record in here, it's just like <laughs> hey, well, we are in a bigger room. Time passes. We've and, got like, more shit space. We're happen. jumping. We're trying to hit lights. Yeah. We're talking out here. It's a good time. I'm sweating. Again, congrats on the new studio. I've congratulated you a couple times now. Yeah, thank you so much. Glad to see you're doing big things. I know you got some real cool stuff in the in the pipeline, and if you don't. Pay me $100 right now. I'm going to tell everyone what they are. Shut the fuck up. <laughs>
<laughs> um, <laughs> no, but Frank, where can they find you, bud? Uh, F Alvarez eight zero eight five on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram, Twitch. I mean, I'll start streaming again soon. It's, you know. Life is just busy. But uh, make sure you go check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Every single Friday, uh, there are exclusive episodes on there if you're at that next tier. That first tier, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance. Get in on the jokes, the conversations, the absurdity, everything a week before everyone else. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. We get to 10,000, which we're approaching rapidly. I am going to be getting a, uh, a bikini wax. Brazilian bikini wax, uh, I've been told, uh, because we, you know, the ones from Brazil are more in detailed. So go check it out, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Yep, and you guys can follow uh, me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram, and that is all. See you guys next time. <laughs>